Now let us do some numericals on the surface tension. See this question. A ring is cut from the platinum tube of 8.5 8 uh, centimeter internal and 8.7 centimeter external diameter. It is supported horizontally from a pan of balance so that uh, it comes in contact with uh, water in a glass vessel. Okay. What is the surface tension? What is the surface tension of water? If an extra 0.97 gram weight is required to pull it away from the water. Fine. See, we have this case in fact. I'll draw the figure first. We have say uh, This is a water surface. Or uh, let's take this one. This is a water surface. This is a water surface. And uh, we have a tube we have a tube like this this kind of tube we have this kind of tube. So when you keep it on water, when you keep it on water, the water will, since water is wetting liquid, it will stick like this on all the sides. And when you try to take away water is wetting liquid with respect to platinum, so this inner surface will also stick to the water, outer, uh, outer uh, uh, ring will also stick to the water. So when you try to take out, when you try to take out, you have uh, surface tension, force to the surface tension acting on the platinum uh, wire, platinum tube. So you have two surfaces, in fact two surfaces will be formed, a layer of water which is stick to outer ring and a layer of water which stick to the inner ring. You have a layer of water which is sticking to the outer ring and you have a layer of water which stick to the inner ring and uh, both the surface of water will apply a force due to surface tension on this ring. The force due to surface tension acting on the outer ring is 2 pi r1 and force due to surface tension acting on the inner ring is 2 pi r2 where r1 is the outer radius and R2 is the inner radius and if you want to bring this out then you have to apply a force F which should be equal to this and this force F is given to you this is 0 0.97 gram weight that is 0 0.97 into 989 so surface tension is going to be 0 0.97 into 980 dynes and 2 pi r1 plus r2 where this r1 is 8.5 centimeter or is it 8.7 and r2 is 8.5 centimeter you just put all these values and you will get your answer in terms of dynes per centimeter this is in centimeter this upper numerator is in dynes. So you get the surface tension in terms of dynes per centimeter. Okay. This is how you get. Let's move to the next question. Question says mercury drop of radius 1 centimeter is spread into 10 to the power 6 droplets of equal size. Calculate the energy expended in 
if the surface tensile mercury is 35 into 10 to the power minus 7 newton per meter see here when the mercury breaks in a big mercury drop breaks into droplets the in all the total surface area increases see surface area of uh, suppose uh, you have a mercury drop of radius capital R it breaks into several droplet and suppose each droplet is of radius small r then how will you find this small r in terms of capital R see capital R is given to you 1 centimeter so if suppose radius of droplets each droplet is smaller then I can conserve mass of this mercury mass of the mercury earlier was rho into this is mass of mercury earlier and then mass of mercury in each droplet would be equal to rho into and suppose you have n droplets n is this value so you can say n is this and earlier the surface energy used to be ui used to be t into this surface area and finally your surface energy is t into n times 4 pi r square right which can be written as t into n times 4 pi and this will be r upon whole square so this is t this and this is greater than 1 so you see final surface energy is higher than initial surface energy so the work done by external agency in breaking this drop into this much of droplet energy which is used up in breaking a drop into these many droplets will be equal to final surface energy minus initial surface energy because whatever work is being done that will be stored in the form of surface energy and this will come as t into 4 pi r square minus 1 you can just uh, write this r as 1 centimeter you convert into meter says everything is in si unit right you do it like this this is 35 into 10 to the power minus 3 and then you can have 4 pi 10 to the power minus uh, 4 and 10 to the power 6 uh, so like this all right so just put the values and you can calculate so you'll get the answer from there all right let's go to next question see the question is two separate air bubbles of radii 0.002 meter and 0.004 meter formed of the same liquid of surface tension 0.007 nm newton per meter come together to form a double bubble come to form a double bubble find the radius and sense of curvature of the internal film surface common to both the bubbles. So you have two bubbles. You have two bubbles. One bubble is this, and one bubble is smaller. The smaller bubble is this. See, this is smaller bubble. So this big bubble and small bubble come together. When they come together, how will it look like? When they come together. It's like this, and uh, the interface will be like what? The interface would be. I'll tell you what kind of interface. The interface will look like this. The interface will look like this. Why is it bulging towards bigger bubble? It is co convex towards bigger bubble. Why? See, it is because see excess pressure over here was 
Suppose this is uh, R1. So x express over A is 2t by R1. R, this is air bubble. Bubble, in case of bubble, it is 4t by R1, sorry. And here it is 4t by R2. And which one is higher? 4t by R1 is higher than 4t by R2. So excess pressure in smaller bubble is higher than pressure in the bigger bubble. Means if it is P0 outside, it will be P0 plus this, it will be P0 plus this. So pressure on this side is higher compared to pressure on this side. So that will lead to bulging of this interface into this. The, this, in, this interface, this film, which is common, the film is common to both the bubble. It will bulge towards this. This pressure is higher than this pressure. This pressure is higher compared to this pressure. And suppose radius of curvature of this. So what is the, if I talk about uh, this film, if I talk about this film, then uh, we have higher pressure on this side and lower pressure on this side. So that is also one reason I can explain. That is also one way I, I can explain. That is also one way I can explain why uh, since pressure on this side is higher than pressure on this side, the center of curvature, center of curvature will be lying on this side. It will be curved like this. See, I, I, we, we saw if you have a uh, film like this, then if you have this, this kind of curvature, the pressure on this side will be higher than pressure on this side. So uh, here we are finding the pressure on this side is higher than pressure on this side. So that's why your curvature is like this. You can uh, you can prove it uh, in terms of uh, by talking about excess pressure also. That uh, press, since pressure on this side is higher than pressure on this side, so the curvature has to be this. Curvature has to be this. And how do you correlate it? See uh, the pressure. If it is P1, if it is P2, then you say P1 minus P2, which excess pressure is written in terms of curvature. Written in terms of curvature, so I can say the excess pressure on this side is how much? P0 plus 40 by R2. This is the pressure on this side minus P0 plus 40 by R1. So that the excess pressure can be expressed in terms of the radius of curvature of this film. That is 40 by R. Well, I is the radius of curvature of this. I is the radius of curvature of this surface. I is the radius of curvature of this surface. So I can express the pressure difference on this side and this side in terms of radius of curvature of this interface. So your 40 by R is equal to 41 by R2 minus 1 by R1, where R1 is this and R2 is this. So 1 by R is R2 minus R1, sorry, R1 minus R2 by R1 R2, right? Or R is where R1 is this and R2 is this, all right? So this way you can do, this way you can do it, right? Okay, let's move to the next question. The question says, under isothermal condition, Two soap bubbles of radius A and B coalesce to form a single bubble of radius C. If the external pressure is P0, show that surface tension T is this. See, we have two bubbles, one of radius A, other of radius B, and they merge together to form a bubble of radius C. Right? So, what is pressure inside bubble of radius A? PA, that will be. P0 plus 40 by A and what is pressure inside B? That is P0 plus 40 by B. This is excess pressure. So P0 is pressure outside. So inside pressure will be P0 plus 40 by B. And they form a single bubble. So what is pressure inside that single bubble? That is P0 plus 40 by C. They are the pressures. And what are the volumes? Volumes are 
only our second bubble is and they form a single bubble like this and uh, when they merge together the number of moles of gas in bubble A plus number of moles of gas in bubble B will be equal to number of moles of gas in bubble C then from kinetic theory of gases this Na would be PAVA by RTA say PVVB by RTB and this is PCVC by RTC but it is isothermal condition so temperature throughout remain constant temperature remain constant throughout so this will all cancel out or you can say this P A is P naught plus 40 by A plus P B V B P B is and this will be equal to this so this means this is P naught A Q and uh, into B Q into C Q so this is going to give us P naught equals to P naught uh, or we can write for T A square B square C square will come from this side C square is P naught C cube A cube B cube so T will go to this value till become this okay so this is how we can